My name is Bobby Giancola with Dennis and Yachting, and today we're in Pompano Beach, Florida, aboard my new listing, a 2000 Sunseeker Manhattan 84. Before we get today's walkthrough started, I'm gonna go over a couple of my favorite things, starting with the flybridge. For me, I think it's a great conversational area where you get to enjoy the breeze, the sun, and enjoy the captain operating the boat. Another one of my favorite features is the salon. The open floor plan, it makes it feel massive. On the port side, you have a huge table to fit six to eight people comfortably. And opposite on the starboard side, you have your bar, which is waiting for you with refreshments. Now that you've been formally introduced to Moondog, I'm excited to start this walkthrough off on the flybridge. So during today's walkthrough, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna be making points as if you're an owner or if the boat was in a charter program. And up here, it's perfect for both. I'm a firm believer in having options up on the flybridge, one of which is the bimini top. If you want shade, you can keep it closed. If you're ready for the sun, you can fold it back and enjoy the rays. Another option that makes this deck so enjoyable is your summer galley with electric grill and access to your sink. There's also an ice maker and fridge below. This L-shaped bar ties in really well with the U-shaped seating and table where you can sit back, relax, enjoy your drinks and your appetizers, speaking with your captain or enjoying your friends and family on a lounge pad forward. On a boat of this size, one of the things that everybody looks out for is having the flybridge helm. It's the most exciting place to run the boat from, whether you're an owner or a charter captain. What is also nice is that if foul weather rolls in, just forward on your port side, you have your access to your lower helm and salon. Now that we've checked out the flybridge, we're gonna head aft and go down to the swim platform. So as I mentioned earlier, there are so many things I like about this boat, I almost forgot about the swim platform. For me, I love the ability to have the hydraulic swim platform go into the water, anchor in the Bahamas. You can have nurse sharks swim up. Obviously, we have a tender back here that can be deployed if you wanted to have lounge chairs so you're just in the water enough to cool down while you're enjoying your surroundings. Coming up the stairs on the starboard side, you'll find your access to your crew cabin. Besides the two crew cabins to port and starboard, this area is home to a kitchenette and a shared head and shower. Our next stop today is the cockpit. At this El Fresco dinette, you can easily sit six to eight people, if not 10, by adding two more director's chairs, as well as the table itself flips up like it does on the flybridge. You'll notice here on your port side, you've got your access to the wraparound to your side decks, also your stairway to the flybridge, and down below on the port and starboard side, you have access to your engine room. Down here, you'll find your twin Caterpillar 3412s with 2,800 horsepower each. Together, these engines give you a cruising speed of around 20 knots and a max speed of around 26 knots. Up here on the bow, you can enjoy the sun and the breeze on this large lounge pad, which has ratcheting backrests. Another feature you'll find here, just forward of the lounge pad, is your skylight to your VIP, which illuminates it with natural lighting all throughout. All the way forward, you'll find your ground tackle and windlass. And on port and starboard side, you have access to your chain locker. And the final thing you'll notice is the uh, wraparound safety stanchions that go all the way aft. Now that we've wrapped up the exterior, let's cool off and head to the interior, starting with the salon. As I mentioned at the top of today's walkthrough, one of my favorite features is the salon on this boat, and that's because of its volume. It's split level, which gives the feel of two different rooms, both of which have great conversational areas and windows seen throughout. Here, aft in the lower part of the salon, you'll find to the port side a massive dining table to enjoy with your friends and family where you can share a meal or get in on a board game. Opposite the dining table to the starboard side, you'll find your bar that has your two fridges, an ice maker, and you'll find an oversized hand washing station. Before we head to the upper salon, I wanted to point out that on the port side, you actually have your access to your full beam master. We're gonna check that out now. So here in the full beam master, one of my favorite features is that it is away from the other staterooms. So it's a little bit more private. 
This master has a unique layout with the king size bed caddy corner found on the starboard side. Opposite to port, you'll find your vanity. There's also a settee to lounge in right next to a hanging closet. The ensuite head is located forward of the master stateroom. Here you'll find a jacuzzi tub in combination with a shower, as well as a twin sink vanity, head, and bidet. Now that we're wrapped up in the master, I wanna pick back up in the raised forward salon. Up here, you'll notice settees both port to starboard with plenty of floor space for you, your friends, and family to enjoy a movie after the day in the sun. Forward and to starboard, you'll find your lower helm. And the first thing you notice is the analog engine displays. And this has also had a fully upgraded electronic package with your Simrad chart plotter, sonar, and autopilot. Wrapping up here in the upper salon, I wanted to point out you have access to your flybridge that we went over earlier and going forward, access to the remainder of the staterooms and the lower galley. As we come down to the lower guest companionway, what we have down here is access to the remaining three staterooms, the day head and the lower galley. In the galley forward, you'll find a four burner stovetop, your KitchenAid oven, a combination washer dryer, on the outboard port side, you'll find two sinks, as well as plenty of counter space. Finishing up the galley, facing aft, you'll see a double door fridge and freezer, your access to your control panel, and down below, dishwasher. Now that we've got the galley wrapped up, I'm gonna show you the remaining three staterooms, starting with the aft stateroom. There are two twin cabins on board this yacht. This aft cabin is one of them, but the owner has a king berth in here currently. The second twin cabin is forward in the lower companionway and to starboard. The biggest difference between this cabin and the others is it has a Jack and Jill entrance into the shared ensuite that doubles as the day head. Continuing forward brings us into the sleeping accommodation featuring an aft facing queen berth surrounded by storage. Once again, my name is Bobby Giancola with Denison Yachting, and thank you so much for watching my walkthrough video of my 2000 Sunseeker Manhattan 84. If you have any interest and would like to schedule a showing, call me anytime with the contact information below.